What's up guys, Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. There's heaps of cool stuff just like this. Okay, so part three. Last time we would have seen this, the engine and the transmission were installed, and that is about it. Now, what makes these guys work and run well, if you set them up correctly, is all this little tedious stuff here. So you have a fuel tank, servos for your throttle and brake, servos for your reverse and forward for the transmission for the Revo 3.3 and you also need a steering servo, fuel tank obviously and a little oil reserve for the crankcase vent here so the oil because it's a two-stroke even though it's sorry if it's a four-stroke running uh, nitro fuel because if oil is in the fuel the, uh, the fuel burns in the chamber and the oil comes out the bottom lubricates on the moving parts and it gets expelled out there in the crankcase vent you can either have it you know just going into the atmosphere which is pretty dirty and messy, but I like to run it into a little, little, what you can call a little jar there, so you know, collects and you can empty it out when it gets a bit full. But anyway, I'll show you what I've done. So firstly, fuel tank, and I like to set these up so you can, they kind of look like a kit. I like to set them out, you know, planned how it looks, everything's kind of nice and straight, and uh, kind of thought out because it just looks neater in my opinion, and it just works better in general. So fuel tank sits on this nice aluminium plate fairly thick, it's about 3mm thick and it runs up to here, behind here is a T-way because it's a dual carb so it goes two into one and there is my fuel tank, very nice and solid it's not as easy just mounting it because actually underneath you need to drill out the bottom of that plate because on the top here this and this sort of hole doesn't sit flush with the bottom of the tank so you need to kind of drill them out just like that so it fits and it kind of sits fairly level. So that's the fuel tank done, kind of nice in, in level with the carburetor, so it's got nice flow, no issues with pressure and all that kind of stuff because they're, I think, kind of gravity fed. Next up here we have, very importantly, the throttle and brake servo. So, kind of like everything in line, so it operates nicely, no binding, so that's pretty simple. So, that's full throttle and back is brake as you can see block the back brakes up and they work really well so that's that's nice to get in there and that's situated on a nice little aluminium plate as well which is just mounted to the side of the 5000 holes that are already pre-drilled into this Sen chassis so that's all done last up on this side we have the oil collection jar you could call it that's it all it is I use some old uh, Meccano parts here bent it around into that uh, kind of shape and it sits in there nice doesn't move it's just friction held in there and it's not really going to go anywhere either up the front here we have our air filter and here we have this 3d printed part which goes over the existing carburetors as you can see there covers this cut that I had to make to put the motor down from the uh, original chassis or sorry suspension mounts and that's it I'll paint that black so it looks quite nice but that just sits over there Simple as that. It looks quite nice as well once it's on. Looks pretty, looks professional. Kind of looks like I know what I'm doing. So we flip it around to the other side. Now I've tried to utilize some of the original parts that are on this kit. Now for example, and I've hit another here, but this is actual uh, steering mount that was situated in between the, the two chassis rails just here because it, it was facing down kind of like that, but I actually moved it here. Now originally I was going to use one of those kind of bell crank designs that you see on the Tamiya trucks but I kind of made this work and I'm quite proud of this because it actually works much better as well simple setup steering that way straight to that link works really well hardly any slop and it just performs really good now these these are threaded uh, turnbuckles or what you want to call them and it works really nice happy with that hardly any slop and it just it's just direct really direct and no issues really so I'm happy with that but that is a stock mount and I just kind of pre-drilled it into the side of the chassis there it works really well the other servo you see here on another small little aluminium plate really sturdy as well straight taps straight into the original some of the original holes here that's for the forward and reverse simple as that so everything is uh, kind of for driving is ready to go servos are ready steering's ready throttle and brake all that kind of cool stuff is ready ready to go and check out this look at this little cutout even from the stock mount it just just clears that as well so that's it worked out really cool I'm quite happy it kind of looks stock it looks a little bit off because these are mounted up here the igniter and the ESC for the starter 
it's a little bit cattywampus but it's going to take them off that's just there uh, just to make sure everything fits next up electronics this is where I'm at and uh, you know I won't be too much longer in this video but the way these are these igniters are it's fairly some of them are fairly silly the one with the ESC has a button on there as well to start it but the glow igniter and the the earth is all on that side as well so you've got to run all this way wire instead of having it on this direction so you don't have to run as much so you have to run all the way around here up into the motor the the ones for the actual the wires for the glow plugs aren't too bad they're, they're quite their, their length is not too bad but the ones for the actual earth of the motor are too short and what's funny with these new ones I think Dennis also mentioned this is the earth doesn't work the lower part in the block here for these motors so with these near the earth you have an earth and you have one on the igniter there once you turn it on it ignites it um, and it stays ignited um, but you can turn take off the battery out and it stops igniting it once it stays hot enough we're in the com com uh, combustion chamber but what's weird the earth don't work so if you put them here where you originally were supposed to it doesn't work if you put it up here it kind of works better higher up in the motor but these newer engines ones I have take this out there's a little part here there's a threaded part on top of the block here I've ran mine all the way around underneath underneath here so it doesn't get caught up I'll cable tie this later on and I've extended this earths up until this part and it gives you a nice solid red glow on those elements so it's I don't know what happened um, and even on even on this original one here same thing I've had to move it because it just stopped working really well I don't, I don't know what happened so really strange and oh, for this Land Rover look for forward uh, for future videos because I'm going to be putting the four speed in this it'll be better for a crawler and hopefully I'll get the L400 and I'll put it in the grey Land Rover that I had as well so I'll be taking this out and I'll probably be putting that four speed in there in future videos so quickly here is the fifth servo this is a physical button to start it now I want it to be all with uh, the remote now there's these electronic switches you can get from Hobby King but they're all out and I can't find anything else on eBay so this is my quick little setup here's a switch and here's a servo it's basically it's going to be dropping down on that when it starts it just raises back up as simple as that really easy so I'm replacing this switch that comes on the uh, stock ESC starter system desoldering that putting one side to here one side to that and that's all it is pretty ingenious I think it's just going to sit here so it's going to look all really really scale well, not scale sorry all kind of stock so pretty cool next video part four you'll see this guy running because it should be ready to go I just wanted to try to do this as uh, planned out as I could nice and neat because it, everything looks well everything looks pretty good all the weights at the front so it should be quite easy burnout machine should actually drift pretty nice as well if I lock up this rear axle and uh, yeah I've, I've moved the battery tray just back there for the meantime but because I've got so many holes here you can move it around as you see fit so that's it guys part four looking good I'll button up all this wiring and then part four we should see this baby run so any questions like always leave them down below go check out uh, Dennis's uh, channel as well he's got some really cool builds he's got the L400 coming as well which is amazing his stuff's <laughs> I think it's much better than mine but uh, you know we all get along well share the same passion for the hobby we want the end result just to have fun and to try new things but go check out him as well any questions leave them down below if you haven't please subscribe then cheers guys Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.